Dallas, I'm gonna be at the transfer center just looking at me like, like, like he, he really wants to do something. So his name was, his, I called him Why? <laughs> Switchblade in hand, it's cold outside, plus I'm scared. I've said my prayers this morning, so does that mean I'm doubting the Lord's protection? Am I capable of inflicting pain upon one of his creations? Straight dogs look in the shadows, they don't speak, they only glance in my direction until I'm lost from union. But the dog behind the fence speaks to me vigorously, taunting me evilly as if ready for me to drop down. I like the straight better, I call him Goldie. But Goldie's coat is matted but still a pretty bright yellow, his face cold but pretty and his eyes are deep. And like the fence dog, he stays alert and he speaks with his eyes, leaving me wondering and searching for an escape from his powerful glance. For Goldie knows the power of quietness, the power of meditation, the ability to survive. For Goldie used to be the fence dog who always barked first, who depended on others for survival, who was chained to his location, only having access to a certain distance, until one day he grew tired. When he realized that the chains represented imprisonment, the barking represented infants and cowards, and with that, the dog behind the fence was no more, and in front of my eyes stood Goldie free. I dropped my blade and realized the dog behind the fence was me. Mm -hmm.